Just a very quick tip today on uh, ultra white masks as the nickname by fans ghost face masks of course and uh, this chap what's that he says I can see a phone screen down here that tells me what this camera's looking at but uh, yeah white eraser or as English used to call them in school days in my time <laughs> we used to just call this a rubber and now I don't mean any other type of rubber. Just this was a rubber. Can I borrow your rubber? And we meant this. Anyway, today, basically, I uh, got this chap here running. Just see if we can get you a bit of a close up, because uh, I've got a couple of new cameras here. This one being a like a fish eye lens, or cod eyes, I call it. And then this chap being the normal camera that I'd always use in the past to get a close up of some uh, marks on this ultra white. So basically this ultra white, uh, this is the second one that's arrived like this. I think I got this off Amazon, another one I've got off eBay in the past. Uh, I won't name the seller because they sent me a replacement, you know, there was no problems. But some of these ultra whites basically arrive with marks uh, anywhere on the mask basically. So if you can see where my finger's pointing now, I'll then give you another shot on the camera of a scuff overlay a shot on it. A scuff has basically appeared on a the mask, then we've got a scratch on the top of the other eye, and then we've got some dark marks all around one of the eye surrounds, and even a few marks on the forehead. Now the old rubber here basically um, can help get rid of these marks for good. So another ultra white I've got next door in the other room it's among quite a few masks, I don't know which one it is until I uh, go through them all, but I've got one here that I can use anyway. But another mask I had, it had uh, little patches of blue on it for like the bag that it was sent in. So uh, above the eye bulges up here, there was these two little blue bits, a couple of scuffs, a couple of scuffs on the chin, on the top of the uh, mouth, under the nose. I was like, bloody hell. He uh, looked like someone had been playing football with it during its uh, in transit to the destination i.e. me so I said well, you know get this bloody mask sorted out it's arriving in this condition sent in pictures I go oh, no problem sorry about that we'll send you another one and the other one came wrapped in bubble wrap I was like yeah that's better but uh, yeah on the uh... here we go yeah I'm just moving them in position here on the other camera so yeah, on the uh, ultra white in question here, we've got some scuffs. I've got some marks off this already on the bottom of the chin. Basically, uh, down here on the other camera. I'm moving back because I'm going to concentrate on the face. So yeah, I've already got some off. And I, I thought I'd get the rest of the mask cleaned while I'm at it. I thought, no, 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 we'll make a mask uh, video out of this because not a lot of people know this trick. So basically this eraser works on ultra whites really really good get me uh, arse pronounced in a minute so this works really good on ultra whites getting these scuff marks off black marks around the eyes there are nasty scuff on this one but we can get rid of it this will do it so other people may be saying well can that do other masks as well then bloody so I just wonder what that noise was then anyway uh, well metallics obviously is not going to do a lot because it's paint so that's ruled out straight away Bleeding versions, I don't know, I've never tried. But the, uh, as I've been corrected recently, um, Funworld had a peruse over my site, looked at the mass page, looked at every other page, I think, for what I remember being told. But basically, they said, look, on the mass page, you've got mass being labelled as latex. They're not latex, they're soft PVC. I said, okay, so I've been down, changed all of them to soft PVC that will match it. Obviously, not the bleeding ones. But, um, the scarecrow and that, but yeah, the um, the ones that I would call latex masks in the pack. ASIS, I've got one up here, uh, just on top of this little cabinet here. Uh, basically, this does work on them, but it depends what kind of marks they are. So, like some of these old I've seen in Scream recently appeared on eBay, defective and non defective ones listed. Basically, uh, this will get a few marks off, but not too many I've noticed. Whereas the ultra whites, my god, it goes to town on the ultra whites. But uh, that's not to say don't try this on any of the other masks. It won't do them no harm. I've tried it on fearsomes. I tried it on my pink fantastic. 
and uh, basically uh, every sort of mass type I've got whether there's variances in the uh, material itself I've tried it and it doesn't harm them doesn't make any uh, I don't know anything bad or anything any worse but the main thing today is I can see one on his nose as well eh? but yeah the main thing today is the ultra white will show you sort of like before and after and basically say yeah if you got some ultras that have come with a couple of scuffs get an eraser get it white again so let me just see yeah, this thing, uh, and unless you've got it on manual focus, it doesn't always like to uh, auto focus really close up. Which is a shame, really, because Sony are normally good. But anyway, we'll put a shot on the screen now of what I've already recorded of this, the scuff. So, yeah, see that? So, that's what it's like. That's how it's arrived with that on. And now, the trusty eraser. Uh, get it on there. Oh, look at that. Gone already. Look at that. Just a little bit of a rub. And it's gone. See it? So you can see the, uh, obviously, the eraser pieces off there that I've just rubbed. But again, just here. Where the finger mark is, he's got. Let's see what the camera can see. He's got some black on his nose, so let's get rid of that as well. Come on, off you go. So, some marks may take you seconds, and that's it, they're gone. You blow it off the eraser pieces and that's it, it's gone. Other marks may be a bit more stubborn, but basically it will get them off. Yeah, you will persevere. So, uh, I can see this one's had a hell of a scuff on the top bridge of his nose. And he's going, he's going. He's going. I think it's going to take a bit more. But Jesus, that's a lot better. So, he had a noticeable black mark on that nose a second ago. So, yeah, again, he's covered in bloody bits of rubber at the minute, eraser. But we'll get it. And then, all oh, this above the eye, all oh, that's going. Look at that, just one rub and that black above the eye is about gone already. We may get interrupted in a minute. What do you want for dinner? Oh, that's looking very nice. Like you can see there's a bit just here. Let's get that off. I think that's actually uh, something been sat on the mask in the past and it's needs some air dryer. Hey, it's white again. A little bit round the mouth. A little bit just here on the other camera. on the camera as well. Rubber shavings flaking everywhere. Okay. I think we're good. I'll just uh, shake it into the bin.
Yeah, this one definitely. This one's got a scuff above its eye on the left eye, and it's actually uh, scratched the material itself. Probably have to get a bit of fine sandpaper on that. But basically, as we see on the other camera. I mean there's bits of rubber there now, I'll get that off soon, but it'll yeah, wipe away. But basically where these black marks were I mean it needs a little bit of uh, some very fine sandpaper I think I've got some and I'll wet and get some wet sanding on that. But basically what was around the eye this is actually a marking of how the mask has been stored I think. Oh, basically the something showing through inside, but he had some down here where the rubber is, and he had some down the bottom as well. But again, it's all white again, and yet there's some a little bit on top of that nose here. He's had a good uh, kicking in the past. Something's gave it a good scuff, but again. Perseverance will pay off there, just keep on it. Not all marks will go, but you will get your mask looking a hell of a lot better. I say this other one of these, I'm looking at two cameras here, but this other one of these, for some reason he had blue up here, and blue up here, and uh, I remember getting a razor here, and go, yeah, 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 and it was gone in seconds. I thought, oh god, leave it on, because then I'll use it in a video. But yeah, I don't know where that mask is at the minute. I know it's in a box in the room behind me, but it's in with about another hundred masks in one box. So I thought I'll stick with this one. This one I've ordered recently off Amazon. Amazon.co.uk, they still got the plastic inside, which according to some eBay sellers is extremely rare. No, it isn't. It's bloody not. It's normal if it's got that inside. That's a new edition over recent years, that. Uh, I remember seeing them inside in Asda in 2011-12-13, the uh, plastic inside. But yeah, basically chaps, I mean I can see bits on this mask now, on the other camera. I just see little bits around the nose, under the nose. Look at that, gone just like that. I say some bits you can be here a few minutes. I remember um, the missus a while ago. I says, here, I'll have a go with the rubber. She do what? <laughs> I says, I'll have a go on this uh, reshoot. And it was a reshoot that Mr. Zachary Cook had sent me. Hey, Zacho. Anyway, um, this reshoot had all sorts of marks. They were just old. It was old black and red tag, yellow star on the tag. So you go back a few years and it had these marks. So we got this on it. Bear in mind that the reshoots don't have the glossy finish. But uh, yeah, we got the eraser on it and it hell of a looked and it hell of a look better and it looked a hell of a lot better afterwards. There's one mark just about here near the, near its mouth on this particular reshow, Zacco might remember. And we went rub 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 bloody hell about ten minutes, but it just won't go as like a uh, a mark, a permanent mark or something. But at the end of it the mass looked a hell of a lot whiter and a hell of a lot better. Just these aging marks, I say they're not, these aren't going to work miracles but they'll make a few masks look a hell of a lot better. So recently one of my fearsomes has got a bit of black and I gave it a try and it sort of just dulled it a bit but it didn't get rid of it. So it won't get rid of everything but it will help your mask. As I've noticed particularly ultra whites as they're nicknamed by the fans. Nate Reagan first person I saw seem to call it that. Uh, yeah. These chaps seem particularly uh, fond of the Odie Razor so if you got an ultra white it's got a few marks on it give one of these a try as I say it probably won't get rid of every mark on it depending on how it's been treated or you know what happened on the way to it being delivered to yourself but uh, yeah I mean this chap now he uh, He's got a few little marks here and there, but it will go with this. And I remember as soon as I opened this, I was like, bloody hell, it's full of marks, but he gets at Amazon or someone's been kicking it about. You know, it's had a rough time on the way, and I thought, God, I'm like, you can't even order a mask and get it in good condition. And as you can see, the tag's bent. Nice big crease down the middle. Not that it matters, 
uh, because I've got quite a few of the ultra whites for 2016 manufacturing date but at the same time I want a good service so when they do get to me like this I think well yeah I can use it on a video but you know I'm not in a hurry to order from the seller again but yeah listed on Amazon top listing this will pop up if you type in screen mask or ghost face mask I think it's eight pound and four pence or something this something like that and uh, yeah this is uh, basically arrived scuffed and now uh, just about solved I mean cameras go off and we'll get this video on the site but I'll uh, get back to this at another time and have another crack at him but the majority of what it come with damage wise scuffs is fine now is fine I'll go around this with a fine tooth comb I mean the round the mouth, round the nose again, round the eyes and they do come up a hell of a lot whiter and it doesn't seem to affect the finish it's just this one bit here on the other camera it's just that one bit I'm going to have to get very fine sandpaper, wet it and uh, it'll be good it'll be good so yeah there you go just checking on my phone screen down here, it's linked to the camera yes there you go, so one ultra white, 2016 in this case, April to June, <laughs> not that it matters. So yeah, one scuffed ultra white, no longer scuffed. Uh, basically that is how you uh, can use an eraser on a ghost face mask and um, make it look a hell of a lot better.